right now we have four different types of courses that graduate students can take. Um, so two of those courses are focused on speaking skills and two of those courses are focused on writing skills. I would say the most common two courses that graduate students take at the very beginning of their studies would be EMLS 601R and EMLS 602R. Now EMLS 601R uh, focuses on public speaking um, and the focus is on listening skills, um, vocabulary development, um, as well as um, pronunciation and all of these skills can be used in both an academic and professional context. For the writing class, uh, this class is called Scholarly Writing in English and this class um, give students the skills and the knowledge required to write various academic texts. The last two courses more specifically focused on thesis writing, preparing them for their defense, their oral defense. And then the last one is uh, again a writing class, thesis writing in English, and it also helps them with um, oral assignments that are related to their graduate work. The most common reasons are they have difficulty writing and speaking uh, in an academic context. Just because English is not their first language, um, writing and speaking in a foreign language can be very daunting. You know, a lot of grad students, well, most of them have to um, present at conferences or they have to present their work in front of advisors or even in, in their group settings. So we try to give them the tools to help them succeed and to be confident both in speaking and in writing. Um, what I like most about it, there are a lot of things actually. Um, First thing, I love their passion about their studies. Um, also, they really want to learn, they want to be here, and they want to improve. And so um, it's actually quite a delight to teach them. Another thing I, I always find fascinating is that not only do I try to teach them something, but they teach me something. Um, so I'm constantly learning new things about black holes, or uh, last term I learned about you know, the formation of Central Park in New York for my architecture students. So um, th there's always a lot of interest there um, and it's learning going both ways, which which is really nice. One of the things I wish they knew is that not only can we help them become better speakers and writers, but we can give them the confidence to succeed professionally later on in life as well. Um, another thing is in our classes, they can connect with like-minded people um, as all the grads are in the same, are more or less in the same boat. So they can also, you know, um, form friendships, which I've seen blossom in my courses. And um, in addition to that, one thing on the side, we do do some extracurricular activities as well. Um, last term we did, uh, we had a running club, which was really well attended. And also we did a kickboxing workshop, uh, which a lot of grads showed up to as well. So uh, just a side note uh, to what we do in class. So we do some things outside of class, which are a lot of fun as well. Grad students want to um, access our services. First place I would send them would be um, to our website. So the website would be uwaterloo.ca slash renaissance slash English language studies. That would be the first place to go. And um, there, all of the, the courses that I've mentioned, they can read through that. Um, in addition to that, if they have any questions about anything. Um, I am the graduate student advisor. Uh, so my name is Krista Schuler once again, and uh, they can they can contact me at Krista, Krista.Schuler at uwaterloo.ca. I'd be happy to help. I would say that I would strongly encourage graduate, international graduate students to come and attend our classes. I think they definitely won't be disappointed. Uh, it's not only about improving their, their writing or speaking skills, but also um, our services and our classes will make them become, hopefully feel more confident. And also they can get to know a lot of people along the way and also network, which will hopefully help them as well in their future. So there are a lot of positives to taking our courses and we hope to see a lot of grad students in the future.